Hi planty people, welcome back to my channel Steady As She Grows. I'm Lorinda and it's the end of January. It's a very chilly 65 degrees here in SoCal and um, I'm going to do a little garden tour for you guys. So I know I told you my garden is really messy but you know what? That's what it is. I'm a busy mama with undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> so you're going to get to see it mess and all. There's not a whole lot going on. I actually just started to um, plant some vegetables like onions and beets and broccoli and cauliflower I just did that yesterday I bought some starts from OC farm supply so um, I'm excited to show you what I got going on in the garden in January hang on okay I'm gonna try to keep this video short because I don't have a whole lot going on in the garden or a whole lot of battery on my phone <laughs> so um, I picked up some onions and some leeks and some beets and some poppies, California poppies from OC Farm Supply yesterday. I planted some of the beets and um, the broccoli and cauliflower that I got there as well. You'll see that in a minute. So I moved this little trough thing that I had over here and I moved it over here with the trellis going up and I just planted some Chinese noodle beans and they've started to sprout right there. I planted a bunch in here and they haven't sprouted yet so I'm thinking maybe it's been too cold. And I also planted some carrots over there and some spinach right in the middle. And only the carrots came up on that side. I don't know if you can see them. And no carrots on the other side or none of the spinach has come up either. That I think there is a weed. <laughs> so um, I don't know, maybe if it gets warmer, they'll pop up. So we'll see. This is some ground cherries that are like, let's see if we have something in here. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Ooh, that looks really good. I'm gonna try that. Mm, kind of tart, but um, this is overwintered. We never got a frost at all this winter, so nothing died, everything kept going. So I'm actually gonna prune this back and see if I can just get it to come back a little healthier. Sometimes if you trim everything off so it can put all its energy into the young shoots coming off the sides, it'll just get a whole second season. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I have a little orange tree over here. Nothing in here. I repotted um, one of my echinaceas over there. And you can see my green stock right back there with uh, some dandelion weeds that I've actually been eating because I heard it's good for you. And I just started planting um, some other stuff in there. I'll show you in a bit. Okay, here is my mess of garden. Oh, and now my dog's barking. Hang on. Okay, a letter in the house. So, I just got some pots here. There's uh, blueberry bushes in these two ter big terracotta pots right here. And look, they just started flowering for the season, which is um, pretty cool. But it's weird that they're flowering. Both of them are, and there's no leaves on the plant because it's winter. So, I'm a little concerned if those plants are okay or, or if that's how that's what they do I don't know let me know in the comments if your blueberry bushes do the same thing um, volunteer hollyhock right here in the corner and this is a, a creepy weed that I pulled where did you go <laughs> decoration um, I'm gonna plant something there some of these pots I just kind of emptied there is some mint in here and um, a little bit of sweet alyssum and there is a volunteer chamomile that popped up in that pot. And this is um, what I planted over here. I have some broccoli starts that I put here under these glass domes that I'm using to protect them from the pill bugs, as you can see. And I did plant some sunflowers around here, around the little perimeter. Hopefully those pop up. We got some cauliflower right here. And I planted a bunch of beets right here. Here's an overwintered pepper plant. Um, over here, I got nothing right now. I have a few leeks that just popped up on their own. There, there were probably some corms that were left from when I pulled my leeks last year. And a, a random onion that probably just came up this year because I probably forgot to pull it last year. Um, and the rest I'm going to be planting my onions in here. And we got nothing in here but a little volunteer zinnia <laughs> that I just might let go. But I think I'm going to put those California poppies right in this pot right there. And then these are some hollyhocks that I planted late 
last, I think it was maybe October, November, maybe. Um, there were the black hollyhocks. I bought some seeds. So I'm kind of glad I did because now I think I might get the, the blooms this season, this spring. So I'm really excited to see the black hollyhocks. And my berry bushes, I have some blackberries and raspberries over here that um, kind of went dormant for the winter. And I do see some new growth on some of the branches. So hopefully I'm going to clean these up a little bit and, and the berries can get going. Not too much else. I have a tomato plant right here. This is a sun gold tomato that overwintered that had spider mites really bad. So I trimmed it up really good. Um, a few days ago and I treated it for spider mites and um, hopefully I can get it to produce some um, tomatoes and it has produced a little bit over the winter but here and there not, not a whole lot probably because it's been so cold and I have a tomato plant right here with some tomatoes I think that's a, a black crim tomato you can see it has some nice sized tomatoes on it, even through the winter. But during the winter, they do stay green a lot longer than the summer. And in the bottom of that tomato, I have some beets there that um, I just kind of been letting go. They were really small a, a while back and I just kind of left them. And they're putting on a little bit of growth. Okay, remember my Rudbeckia vine? <laughs> kind of went crazy here so after a uh, summer it just went gangbusters like it started to attach to everything this is um like an old stalk of a, a sunflower and going up that trellis and it's kind of spread through to my insulina plant and um, which is the longevity spinach so I need to take it out of there because I don't want it to destroy that plant and it even started creeping over to the to the lemon tree and I, I kind of cut it and stopped it and I just need to rip it out and really prune it back but you know it, it is so pretty that um, I'd hate to do it the flowers are just gorgeous and the bees love it so I, I'm just gonna prune it back just so keep it on this trellis and um, see what happens. I don't want to kill it because I just think it's gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, it's gotten uh, a little crazy there. Um, my lemon tree. I have um, some alyssum in here and some volunteer nasturtiums. And these are the variegated nasturtiums. And I have another one over here that I want to show you. They are so pretty. If you've ever seen variegated nasturtiums, look at the leaves on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is a volunteer. I had a pot that was up here that had it in there last season and it just reseeded. So that's pretty cool. And nothing else in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the space, but I should mulch it if I'm not going to put nothing on it. I got some uh, longevity spinach right there that really needs to be pruned up. What I really need to do is trim it up and take all the leaves and boil them and make them into a tea. It's really good for diabetics. Um, and that's what I should be doing because a lot of this young, new, tender growth is the best. You can eat it too in salads. It's really good. But I like to turn it into a tea. Got nothing in this space right here. I don't know what I'm going to put there. I need to trim up this uh, Budlia plant. It's like a tree. Like I like to keep it like a tree. So all this needs to come up. I just come off. Sorry. I just, I've just been lazy. <laughs> Lantana, my apple tree, it's not really doing nothing, it's still pretty dormant. What else I got over here? My blue agave has gotten pretty big. I just looked at a picture recently, which you know what, I might share right here. Now compared to where it is now, look at how big it's gotten. But as you can see, um, a lot of the other little succulents in here had died. So I need to replace them with something that'll fit this spot better. Because it gets full sun all day long. I got some nasturtiums popping up over here. And the African daisies. They look really pretty. They give me a show all year long. I just love it. But look at the leaves. Look at the leaf size on this nasturtium plant. Look at that thing's huge. <laughs> And this is an overwintered pepper. This is um, a Mad Hatter pepper, so it produces these little tiny red peppers, which are sweet, actually. And I have a, a dying eggplant plant right there. Nothing going on in the pomegranate tree. It's dormant, but I think it's gonna be starting to put on growth soon. So actually, I should trim it up. 
um, before it starts putting on growth. I should hire a tree trimmer because it gets out of control. These little planters over here, nothing in there. I have, um, what plant is it? I still have the label. It's a Nemesia, something like that. And um, I don't know, I might plant some more zinnias there in spring. An empty pot. Not too much, like I said, going on in the garden right now. These pots are pretty empty. This is um, an overwintered Malabar spinach that I'm gonna have to just take out because I was hoping it would put on a second, um, a second vining, or I don't know what you would call it, but it just keeps pushing seeds. So I think it needs to start over from scratch. Got some herbs, got some lemon mint, a weed. I planted some beets in here and I'll probably be planting some cucumbers here in the spring. And this is an overwintered um, Paul Robeson tomato. Got some tomatoes on it right there. Right there. These are my other two blueberry bushes. But look, there's flowers that are just starting to bud all over this plant. So as you can see, there's buds all over this plant but there's no leaves, so really weird. The same for this one too, it's got buds forming, but there's no leaves, interesting. I got an eggplant over here in this pot that had spider mites really bad. Oh look, there's my kitty. Hi Raven, hi baby girl, hi baby girl. You want outside? Sorry, look what they did to my screen. <laughs> they want out bad but nope they're indoor kitties um, like I said it had spider mites really bad I just treated it a few days ago trimmed it up and I think I'm gonna get a whole um, second harvest out of this plant so really excited it had some buds and some eggplants um, producing right there it's about to start um, I just got some pots over here nothing much I planted some sweet peas in there to climb up this trellis. Let me show you the green stalk. So what do we got in here? We have, there's some purple lady bok choy in there. I planted some mixed lettuce in um, some of them and the mixed lettuce never came up. Really weird. The oregano never came up. Dandelion greens are doing good. Tastes just like lettuce. Um, I got some broccoli and cauliflower starts down there. I believe that one is a, oh, that one's a Romanesco. We got some baby bok choy in there. And I know there's broccoli and cauliflower. Let's see if I could try to grow them out the side of the green stalk. Pretty cool. Oh, and cilantro right here. And then it still has strawberries from last season. So I'm just gonna kind of let them go. Pretty cool. And then lastly, I have some really pretty um, double petal impatience, some white ones, and um, some hibiscus that has been putting on blooms that are just gorgeous. Follow me on Instagram at steady.as.she.grows because I um, put a lot more content on there that I do here on YouTube. So if you want to keep um, more up to date on what's going on in my garden, check me out there. And I post a lot of pictures of my flowers and when something's pretty good in the garden, of course I'm gonna snap a shot of it. Well folks, that's my garden in January. Not too much going on, but I do have some stuff. And um, if you haven't yet, like I said, check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of content on there as well. When I'm out shopping, if I find cool things, I share it there as well too, because I'm always out looking for a good deal. So um, make sure you give this uh, video a good thumbs up and share me with your friends and get out and grow something. Spring is right around the corner. Get a head start. I'll talk to you later. See you on the next one. Bye.